makers and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're into 3D printing, photography and drones, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. Today we're talking about the Azure Film PTG Neon Lime. A PTG that actually prints better than PLA and it was a surprise for me. Right before getting into the review, I would like to tell you about the collaboration I have ongoing with this really good friend of mine, Giuseppe. He runs an Instagram page, 3D Print All. You will find all the links in the description. He talks about printers, he talks about filament and reviews filament. He talks about application of 3D prints to electronics. And it's a really, really fun page to go see and spend some time with. All the links will be in the description. Go pay him a visit. As usual, Azure Film Filament comes in a beautiful white box. We're talking about a European filament made in Slovenia, in Cezana, very close to the Italian border and the city of Trieste. So practically Italian, even if not on records, but totally European. So really, really nice unboxing experience. Uh, the spool comes uh, vacuum uh, sealed with a silica gel inside to preserve it, to get humidity. So premium package for, um, for a great filament. This PETG Neon Lime is a really, really nice and fun filament to print out with. As you will see with the prints I've done, I tried a bunch of different stuff and usually PETG is uh, preferred to print, uh, to print out parts that have to screw in each other or they have a mechanism or something like more durable than, um, than PLA. But with this PETG, with this color, you can have fun printing out stuff that usually you print out with PLA and with the same ease as you would use on a PLA. I mean, it's really, really easy to print out this PETG. I started out printing with this PETG uh, with a sample cube from Cap. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if we can focus this. And this was printed at 220, 220 degrees with the bed at 80 degrees with uh, no raft or brim or anything. And uh, the only thing I lowered was the, um, the fan. I brought the fan from 100 to 20, standard 20 for the entire uh, print. And it turned out better than a, than a cube printed in PLA. I printed a second one, modifying a little bit uh, some settings and also the second one printed out great. They both look really, really, really good. I wanted to test, you know I like Piranhas and Calicats, they never, they never miss in my review and I printed out this Piranha here and no problem detaching the jaws and it works perfectly. I actually printed out three or four of these and now they're already in the kitchen for my kids. They close chips and biscuits with this and they love it. Then I printed out this, uh, I don't know, like spinner, fidget spinner to test out how thin uh, walls handled this PTG. And guys, it looks really really good there's a little bit of stringing inside because when printing with ptg retraction on my printer needs to be a bit lower than usual but overall it turned out it turned out great another thing i love printing out when i test filament is the stackable draw stackable box whatever you call it i have many i've printed it in so many different colors this is where i store all the prints while I'm printing them. All, they all go in here and I keep track of what's printed in that color for the sample I'm reviewing. I'm gonna do a little bit of a change today and I'm gonna talk to you about the useful stuff I've printed before talking about the tabletops. And uh, the first thing that I found was this small vise for a GoPro with movable head 
this should go on your on your heated bed on the printer and GoPro mount is here so you can use it in many different ways this came out flawless it's like three different pieces mechanism screws in in like like really like perfectly and it looks like something you bought from a shop plus this color this like neon color makes everything fun and you will see what i've done on my second printer in a second then i printed out this in vase mode this is watering for my small plants that i have here i needed something small something like really really small to, to like to water some small uh, plants I have and it turned out great 0 0.8 layer as usual in vase mode slow print it looks and feels amazing so great result this time for the useful upgrades I wanted to do something for my Anet ET4 Pro printer and needed some upgrades and I printed out a couple of parts that are really really useful I printed out this filament guide together with the z-axis uh, uh, keep in place um, uh, bolt I printed out a knob a beautiful knob that moves and spins when uh, when the printer goes on I printed out a cable holder for the back as you can see I also printed out um, Y-axis uh, uh, st stop cover, I don't know what you want to call that. And I also printed out a um, webcam uh, small uh, holder for to keep an eye on the, on the camera. And uh, the results were amazing as you can see and the uh, printer looks great with this color on top. I have a plan also of printing out a fan. Uh, with the Anet logo on that would be in that color so beautiful and useful upgrades on this side when you print out in PTG you don't want to waste the filament to do tabletops because usually you use PLA to do that but I wanted to test it out and I printed out this in vase mode and this came out great guys printed out in vase mode 0 0.8 with ex extrusion and it doesn't feel printed in vase mode at all I tested it out, it's waterproof water can go inside here I can actually put a plant in here and it really looks good it printed out flawlessly I mean all the, 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 the small details in the print came out great of course I printed it out a bit slower than uh, what I would print a PLA but results are as, again better than expectation then i printed out a small tabletop of po the pokemon saga i don't i can't remember his name he's gengam or jengam something like that people don't hate me for getting the name wrong but i'm not a pokemon expert my kids are still too young to understand pokemons probably in a few years i will start being an expert of that as well then last thing i printed and i wanted to print out this because it has really really thin arms and i wanted to see how the ptg handled thin arms this is roger from american dead printed in neon lime and this looks really really fun and it printed out really really good it had a little bit of supports and uh, support came out very very easily and print is really really nice it looks okay for a PTG print now it's like the fourth filament I review of Azure and I'm impressed of the quality of this company it's uh, it makes everything easier and uh, also the unboxing experience is, is amazing uh, I don't want to do an advertising on them uh, uh, because I'm not in the position of doing that. I'm a novice. I started three, four months ago. So I'm sure lots of people would argue the opposite. But my experience is of a great filament. If you want to buy Azure Filament, you will find the links in the description. If you want a 10% discount, use the code ALESSANDRO10. You will find all the links and coupon code down in the description. 
that was all for today guys i really hope you enjoyed my review as usual smash the like button if you did like it subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and i'll see you guys very soon <laughs>